uh, uh, other growing flavor. You are familiar with Zoya, which is on display. Uh, Zoya was launched in uh, uh, December of last year. It's our first product in what we call as a, uh, a luxury segment. Uh, operates at a price point of between 1800 to 2000 rupees. Uh, with a significantly different gross margin. Uh, why gin and why not another whiskey? I think the idea was uh, to get out of our comfort zone and do something that we have not done, but very happy with the quality of work, the amount of the warm reception we've got from the trade and from the consumer. Uh, those who are gin lovers, I will urge you to try it. Hopefully you will like it as well. Uh, so we are looking at uh, 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 what are the other areas in terms of our commodity procurement or other cost centers that we have identified. How do we get better in that space? And uh, um, there are some, there, there are some uh, incredibly good ideas that we must come up with, with to evaluate and implement in that. Uh, environment continues to be an important part. We, we have a large display again, for example, in Telangana, and um, uh, the water polluter that we consume is significantly lower than the benchmark. So, uh, water practices um, is, is, is extremely important. So, it's not just about rainwater harvesting, it's also about how do we use water as part of uh, marketing. I mean, I can, I can talk about it, but we all know that. Um, uh, any category, not just alcohol category, digital plays an extremely important role, and uh, I think we are getting better. But uh, it's a constantly evolving piece, so uh, continue to you know stay a student and learn fast in terms of what's happening in uh, you know what are new ways. We talk about premium in the luxury segment. Uh, we want to do it slightly differently. Uh, we want to keep it asset light to the extent possible, and we are using a term that we are internally calling it "build and partner." Uh, build refers to brands uh, that uh, are owned by us, the IP is owned by us, uh, Zoya is one such example, which is already launched. Uh, however, if we look at experience driven consumption, uh, the consumer today is looking beyond brands that are known, right? And that's again true for entire f not just for Alcobec. Uh, when you and I go out anywhere, we are constantly looking at what's new. Therefore, why recognizable brands, at least on the luxury side, uh, uh, give you instant visibility, but the consumer is saying, show me something new. So our view is that across the globe, there are many brands that are relevant for the Indian market and can we bring them into India through what we're calling as a partnership model, not a distribution model. And basically, we have a pan-India presence, we have access to the market, uh, we are building a division for Trem brand, which is focusing only on the premium and luxury side, and therefore there are Quite a few brands that we believe are very, very keen to get into the Indian market, but given the complexity of the market, they're not sure how to approach it, and we could become their partners uh, as far as uh, the India market and hopefully also the travel retail. Premiumization, especially on the premium and luxury side, is going to be uh, an asset light approach where we build our own brands, but also leverage our, our distribution and our sales infrastructure for third party brands, but do it not as a distributor but as a brand partner. So I think that really went to high single digit. Uh, we're hoping on back of uh, scalable base, uh, on back of more cost efficiency, focusing on profitable markets, and a new portfolio. Um, the idea is to see and uh, turn around some of this financial matrix.